my name is Marian, and I'm going to share with you uh, my personal story and the story of my country, Colombia. First, I'm Colombian, so South America. And the topics that I really matter is education, tech, women, and leadership. I'm, I'm, I need to say that I heard a, a, little, a little in my throat, so excuse me if I can speak really fast and please, uh, take a little break to drink some water. So the first thing that I like to clarify is Colombia, not Colombia. Colombia is a really cool university in the United States and New York, but uh, most of the uh, foreign people told, tell, uh, spell Colombia, not Colombia. And a really cool thing is we have uh, different scenarios in a really rich uh, um, views. This is the Orinoco and the Seven Color Sea. We have the Five Color Sea in the Caribbean. We have the Amazon. We have the Pacific Coast. This is Choco. And also in the Caribbean, we have the Sierra Nevada of Santa Marta and is the highest coastal mountain range in the world and is with snow. And the Andes, the, where this is the Cocora Valley, uh, the wax, wax palm is the national tree. And in the Andes, we have my city, Medellin. This is Medellin, Colombia. So what happened when we talk about Medellin, probably you talked about this, Medellin, Colombia. This is the war that we have, and we signed uh, uh, the peace with the guerrillas. And then probably you see Netflix and you saw Narcos, of course, and you talked about Pablo Escobar and all the drug stuff. But this is not the true story that are happening right now in my country. So this is JSConf, it's the first conference that we have in my city. This is a picture from uh, 2018, I was a co-organizer also in 2017. And this is where everything happened. This is an innovation hub in my city, that is Ruta N. And Ruta N opened uh, the doors to us, the first leaders of the communities, and Actually, I like to recommend you this talk. The, the name of the talk is Butterfly JS Effect. And the creators of this talk is Julian Duque, that is here in the Heroku booth, and Buritika, that lives actually in New York. Uh, personal Julian was my first mentor in, this, uh, in, the, in all this journey that we, start, we began with Penelope's Dev. And this is the first meetup that we launch, and I'm going to share you the story. I was here in a startup weekend from IoT, Internet of Things, and I was the only woman in that place as a mentor. So I shared my feelings with Julian, and I shared them why here no are more women. So he told me that, hey, we like to create a group, an old school girls. So we create a group, an old school girls. And the leaders in this chapter was Julian Duque, Adrián Estrada, that you already know them yesterday in the main keynote uh, space. And this is Juliana. Juliana was one of, of the leaders, women leaders, that began all the story. The uh, handle was Naranjita Gold. And in 2016, they came to the United States. And I decided to Naranjita to take care of the community. So, we began with only 10 girls, uh, really inspired about technology, about Node, and the cool things that we can create with this. So we began a chapter, and actually the government shared our group in a newsletter, and arrived 250 women to our first meetup in 2016. But they thought that we are going to teach them digital marketing. So it was like, no. And actually, we have Gloria. I want to share the story of Gloria. Gloria is a, is a woman who lives in the poorest area of, of, of our city. And she made arepas. Arepas is like a bread uh, made from corn from Colombia. And she came here to try to, to how to configure my Twitter. So we say, Gloria, no, this is like, you are going to do your first hello world. And she said, like, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't have an idea to do that. Sorry for the expression, but uh, we decide to continue the chapter and create this, this logo and this brand that the name is Pioneers Dev. And it's a Spanglish word that the meaning is pioneers, developers. 
And this is the first group of us. And our personal hero was the first um, success story that we have. This is Milady. Yeah, the name is My Lady. Milady is a, a typical girl from the Comunas, the poorest area that we have in our city. She is a ninny, so they don't have a, the resource to go to school or to go to the university to study something that she really matter. So she loaned the, the ticket bus to go to Pioneras, to Ruta N, and with no linear content, because we are only a meetup who get uh, reunited one, one time a month, so she, she became curious about technology. And then, a year later, she could, uh, she could get uh, her first job at tech. So this is the uh, fun story. This is her first day in the, in the uh, company that allows her to have Milady. This is when she could afford her first computer, her first laptop. Is the certificate because she was really consistent to the to all the meetups. So we create like a certification of, of the commitment, and then uh, she realized that she was really into Python. So she we created the first conference in Colombia Python, and I was also organizing in 2018, and she became the first uh, volunteer for this conference, and then she teach us about Python. And this is 2016, when we are growing up. This is 2017. And then, this is the thing, that we are uh, focused in women for 14 to 28 uh, young women. But they are white, because they are poor and unemployed. They have the biggest rate. And this and so this is not only a gender issue. This is a, a real a, personal and human problem in our country. And the industry needs that we already know that is a deficit of developers in the world. But in Colombia, they need 100 developers in the companies. And they only have 7,000 qualified developers through university. That is no, you know, right now is not the normal path because we have a lot of boot camps and, and stuff. So this is the closing party that we have. and. And we realized that we need an organizing team. You already know yesterday at least Parodi. Um, perhaps you have the luck to see all these women in international conference because they get international and they could travel uh, around the world telling stories not only about pioneers, not only about communities, technical talks about what we are learning and sharing with our community. So here is a Scalconf. It's other uh, big conference right now in Colombia. We have seven big conference running in our country. Here is Manuela, uh, traveled for her first time to Europe and get to GitHub. And here is uh, Juliana, who could talk and share about accessibility in O'Reilly. And this is our first uh, reunion as a community. And here is only uh, nine communities. And Manuela was the only. Uh, women in the table. But actually, this year, they reunite through Ruta N. And actually, right now, there are 19 leaders, in, in women leaders, in communities in Colombia. So we are creating a change. This is a Django Girls Picon. And actually, we create uh, synergies with other countries. So here is Daniela from Bolivia. And Platzi, that is a cool startup for our country, who is very international for Latin people. And this is Maria Carlina. She is a really good engineer about uh, Internet of Things and works in the first company in our country in Internet of Things that the name is Ubidot. And she could go to a boot camp for startups for creating robotics and all kind of, of gadgets in Silicon Valley. Here's uh, Maria Paz. He, went to Australia and he run uh, a really cool meetup for Angola and Brisbane. So he's taking the world of Pioneras to other countries. And here we are in NG uh, Bolivia, so in the conference of Angular in Bolivia, in the conference of, of Angular in Colombia. And then we receive uh, a, a news, uh, an email from other leaders from other countries in our, in our uh, from other cities in our country. So he's Kelly from Barranquilla and Maria Alejandra from Cali. 
This is Barranquilla. We, they have a really cool carnival there, and it's really fun. It's the second uh, uh, besides Rio, so you are welcome to go. This is the leaders in Barranquilla. Actually, um, Estella works here in, in Canada, and she's a really cool, uh, really good developer. So this is Cali. Cali is the capital of salsa, so if you like to learn how to dance, probably you need to go to Cali. And this is the leaders of Cali, and they bring the meetup and run 11 meetups this year in Cali. We decide to bring to our country Latinity. Latinity is like the Grace Hopper conference from Latin world. And we reunite 34 uh, countries in one place, in Bogota, Colombia, the capital. And in 2019, so this is our number, so we began with five active members. You saw in the picture nine, but actually the, the, the dedication and the commitment was five girls. And at the end of 2019, we are circle uh, 1,200 active members in all Colombia, in three main cities. And um, for 2020, we're going to be in six cities. So we are growing, growing. We create a, a, a special project that the name is Local Hearings, and you can find it here. And we decide to illustrate all the leaders in our community and share the story because we have different backgrounds, different stories to, to share with the community and put faces to the role models, to the new, the new generation of girls in our country. So for 2020, we're going to be in Medellin, Cali, Barranquilla, that we already are. And Neiva, Bogota, Cartagena will be the news uh, chapters. And in 2018, we create a boot camp, and 85% of the 24 pioneras, so 20 of them, uh, graduate for our first boot camp, three months uh, committed, and with linear content, and they graduate last, last as uh, front end developers. So for 2020, we like to run two boot camps, and this is our number. So in social media, you can find us as Pionera Dev, and we have circle. 5,000 uh, pioneers in Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, in, we have different chats because we have different chapters uh, to talk about, about what we need. Dependency of the latency of the information. So we have Slack, Telegram, WhatsApp. And in Meetup, we are like a plus 1,500 uh, uh, pioneers. So we are going to launch our first conference this year, 2020, and we are going to, to host in Ruta N, our home, because it's the innovation hub when, the, when everything happens. And this is the main team of Pioneer's Dev, and here's Liz. Uh, he is, is the role in outsource. We have two girls that also grow through Pioneer's, and right now they, they are web UI developers in Globant, that is a big company in our country, and in Latin America they have different offices. And this is the closing party right now. So we are creating opportunities. We are not only a meetup from gender to try to solve more, more equal participation of women. Yes, there is important for us, but we are giving these young girls opportunities in the industry through creating space, safe space, to they learn and can choose which path they want to to create in the in their careers. This is Pioneer's Dev, and thank you for being here. If you have questions, I can answer because it's a little small room. So, no. What about funding? Okay, that's a, that's a good question. We have a, a really big issues about this because we. Um, the the Rutena give us a space like is a venue, but we we have a really uh, poor girls background, so we need like uh, giving them food and support like a pizza or cookies, something small. But we try to find them through 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 companies. But yes, they are give us they are, they are give us uh, us in we call it especie. I don't know what's the translation. Like they bring them the cookies, but we don't have we don't have the funds. So we create like a, a um, an initiative, a Shopify platform, and we sell the the t-shirts. And you can you can get one. It's 
35,000 pesos, it will be like $15 or something like that to, to run the community. Because in Medellin, we have the support, the, we have a really check hub there. But in other cities, does not happen. For example, Cartagena, Cartagena uh, is a really beautiful uh, city and probably you see in the brochures of tourists and stuff and will be the location for a lot of movies. But, but they don't have the, the companies or the tech hub to take these meetups. So we need to send them money to, they, they can run the chapters there. That's why. Another question? Carolina. How can you get involved with uh, We have a, a lot of, uh, if you like to, to get involved to the community, we, you can write us through, through the web page. We have a form, a form to, to fill the space. And you can, we have also a Gmail. We have through Google uh, recently um, the domain and the, the emails for the nonprofit because we are an NGO organization, a registered NGO. But right now, we are uh, running everything through, the, through our Gmail. So it, the name is pionerasdevelopers at gmail.com. And you can write us. And it's a different thing. For example, you can share your story. And we can, I don't know, to do a live Instagram video. And you can encourage all the girls. And you can connect it online to, with a meetup and propose uh, a subject. And they already, we need to practice more our English. So it will be good if you are an international uh, speaker to share with us your knowledge. So you are welcome to share with us in Pioneers. Are you guys doing anything to target young girls? Yes. yes. This year, we have a, a really big dream, ambitious dream, because Actually, we don't have like an hour of code in our country. I saw the, the video uh, this year and I saw Shakira. Shakira is a, a singer from our country, but I saw like, hmm, it's very funny because we don't have uh, not only one chapter from, from our code. And that was our dream. So perhaps in 2020, we have in the high school and middle schools a uh, hour of code, like an uh, perhaps a city initiative, because imagine we have like a new mayor and she's very friendly with, with tech uh, industry. And our biggest dream will be uh, having in all the country. But right now, the thing is, they are like, um, like the word of mouth. So they share the story to, I went to, to a community. So what is a community? For example, Gloria, uh, their, their son and, and um, their daughter, uh, think, think her daughter, uh, think that Pioneras was like a church or something because we reunite in, on Saturdays from two, 2 to 6 because it's the best uh, schedule to they come there because most of them has another work or they're trying to, to study uh, something or work in a call center, some, some that things happen. So we, we share with them, like bring your friends and perhaps this could be an, an option for you. So yeah, they, the, the main, I think the main channel would be word of mouth for us and social media. Actually, in Colombia, they don't have like a computer, but they have like a smartphone. It's really funny, but they have. One year, one year. I mean, it depends obviously of the dedication of the women, but the, the main thing that we create is like the culture of, of self-learning. We share resources in our, in our web page and we encourage them to, uh, we create like um, different forms for mentor. The name is mentor, it's a really, really, uh, yeah easy name for us, <laughs> mentor. So the mentor platform is a form and you can, you can ask for one hour of mentorship for someone who, who could teach you some, some technology. And we did that because I know the drop down it was really high. If you are very frustrated to your terminal and you, you can f uh, fix the bug and you uh, close the laptop and perhaps we lost some brilliant 
women who could give us a talk or became a leader. So we create mentor, and right now we have circa 400 uh, mentors uh, dedicated to, to our platform. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Merci beaucoup.